Well, hey everybody, this is Niggeroth here bringing you a brand new LP. It's a THQ game from back all the way in the year 2003, if you can tell by that extremely old logo there. It's also a Games Workshop product, which might hit some of you off as to what it might be. But uh, if you don't know what Games Workshop does, they pretty much only do one thing, and Kuju doesn't really do anything. The Segmentum Solar, the cradle of mankind. Here is Terra, known to antiquity as Earth, the heart of the Imperium of Man. An empire of a million worlds, the Imperium stretches across the galaxy. Besieged by aliens and monsters, attacked from within by heretics and rebels, for 10,000 years it has endured, protected by fleets of warships and legions of genetically engineered warriors. It is the 41st millennium, and there is only war. Contact with the latest threat to the Imperium was made here, a star cluster in a distant spiral arm. The race is young, vigorous, and technologically advanced. They call themselves the Tau. So yeah, that uh, wonderful introduction was uh, done by Tom Baker, who some of you may know as the 7th or 8th Doctor from the popular BBC series Doctor Who. He isn't featured that much in the game, but if you do get a chance, I'd say watch the training day video that was posted before this to maybe hear a little bit more of his sensual, erotic British voice. But yeah, we are going to be playing as a rather new race in the 40k library, the Tau. Seen here as a uh, green skin, Idiots, pretty much. They constantly want to be people's friends. And they don't really understand that in the world of 40k, nobody wants to be friends with anybody. But they still try. They're... Governor Severus, we have captured the leader as ordered. We are preparing to withdraw. Acknowledged, Sergeant. Bring the alien to me. Leave no Their basic idea is, you know, for the greater good, and everybody can be a part of the greater good, if you really want to, and if you don't, then they'll just make you into mindless slaves. But, they're nice otherwise. Space Marines, which we saw the boot of just now, are not nice. They apparently just kidnapped one of the ethereal leaders of the Tau race, whose name is Kovash. It's a little rundown of that. Then we get to the mission proper. Trooper, is this your first mission? I remember how nervous I was before mine. Let me help you get ready. Have you checked your visor? It's working properly. Visor functions checked. Ammo checked. Check. You are ready for combat. Good luck, Fire Warrior. We will save Koma. So yeah, we are going to be playing as Case. Who's on his first day as a Fire Warrior. The ramp will drop soon. Go on the green light. Tactical readouts say our forces are making good progress, but stay alert. Do not fail your trial. Prove your skills and honor the firecast. What better way to start our first day out on the, uh, the front lines than going into a very dangerous mission to save our leader? Maybe not everyone will come back alive as that guy just disappeared into the ether. But, uh... You know, obviously, since we're named and we are 
playing as the main character. We're bound to be some kind of a Superman, even if the rest of our battle brothers are not um, so lucky. So yeah, we are now on the planet proper, where we apparently know that Kovash is being held. It's a very rocky, unforgiving terrain where we're already under fire from what will be our first set of enemies here which is the IG or Imperial Guard. Imperial Guard are basically the uh, the foot soldiers. Yeah, they are the foot soldiers to the Imperium of Man, which is humanity. Basically, there are uh, there are differing planets out there with human life on it, and they've all been colonized to some degree by uh, the Imperium of Man as they've stretched their tendrils out from what used to be called Earth. And as they continue to do that, their numbers continue to increase, but... They didn't have enough army men to go around, so what better way to get more army men than to recruit them from other planets? So what we have here is a defense force made up of Imperial Guard soldiers, which are relative to the planet. There's one of them driving by in the tank. That's, uh, it's, I think, I'm pretty sure that was a Lehman Russ. IG are basically destined to be cannon fodder, and they love it, because if they didn't love it, they would be shocked. They live a very rigid, subservient lifestyle to the uh, the Space Marines and the rest of the Imperium. And right now, they're serving as cannon fodder to us. Right now, we're just dealing with the, the base guardsmen here. They come in two variety, which is, you know, green and red. I think red has a bit more health, but on the whole, they're really not that bad to deal with. Yeah, right there, we actually had our first secret task of the game. Each level has uh, a little hidden side objective to do that uh, may or may not benefit you in doing. It's uh, I'm going to try to get all of them so that I can get all the wonderful unlockables so you wonderful people can see all of them. But uh, yeah, for that particular secret objective, uh, Lucia, who is our magical, omni omnipotent voice in the sky, was telling us that we needed to stop him before he got word that Tao were uh, invading the trenches. Thankfully, we stopped him, which I think stopped a few enemies from spawning. But uh, it's honestly hard to tell. Most of the secret objectives don't do a direct difference on the actual level itself. Speaking of levels, this uh, this one starts out pretty close off. Whoa, watch out there, dude. Yeah, this uh, this gentleman dancing at us with his, what looks to be a baton, which is actually a chain sword, is what the, gar was, uh, what the game refers to as an Imperial Guard Sergeant. Doesn't really look like a sergeant in the normal sense of it. Uh, he looks more of what's called a commissar. And commissars are basically... They are the uh, the whip, I should say, of the uh, the imperial or yeah the imperial guard uh, troop. If an imperial guard guardsman doesn't feel like following an order, a commissar will come up and shoot him in the face. Uh, it's to show an example to the rest of the guardsmen of you do not break break from the flock, otherwise you will get shot, and then you will get replaced by someone else because there are millions of guards. And we shall be seeing that as they continue to throw them at us like candy at Halloween. That's, that's a good metaphor, right? Or a simile. But yeah, uh, you may notice that what we just picked up I haven't actually been using yet, uh, but it gives us a chance to look at the HUD itself. In the upper right hand corner you'll see a couple little ugly looking things. The uh, the two numbers are the numbers of bullets in the clip we currently have, and the number to the right is the overall number of bullets we have for the uh, particular gun we have equipped. Right now I'm using the LAS pistol, 
which may look like it's from Star Wars, and it very well may be. It's actually a very power. It's it's basically a revolver that you might see in other games. A very powerful yet small clipped weapon. It does a lot of damage, but you don't really get that much ammo for it. So more than likely, you won't be seeing me using it all that often. The primary weapon you'll be seeing here for the uh, the Tau race, and there's a Sentinel. It's beautiful. Is uh, is the pulse rifle? It's fairly accurate. It does a reasonable amount of damage. It's got a good, uh, you know, rate of fire, and it's fairly accurate. Fairly? Yeah. Um, you usually start off every level with one of these. It's, uh, it's actually the stronger of the, uh, the base weapons from the, the tabletop 40k game. It's just for some reason they decided to, uh, start you off with it, as opposed to a weapon we'll be seeing a little bit later. But yeah, just uh, this is one of the few uh, man manable turrets that appears in the game. You won't be seeing those too often. And I actually, I don't think there are Gatling gun lasers in the uh, in the IG uh, arsenal, but I might be wrong. I'm uh, I'm always up for being corrected if anybody wants a uh, chance to correct me. But I was getting off topic there in regards to the HUD. So you'll see that there is a half circle, and that is our shield. The shield will gradually degrade as we take damage, as shields are meant to do. It will also uh, regenerate after we stop taking damage for a little bit. But that is basically what you could consider the primary life bar. The actual, what the game considers the actual life bar is the smaller uh, horizontal bar that you see connecting to the side of it. Basically, the the actual life bar should rarely ever be affected unless your shield gets completely depleted. You'll also see that there are two images of guns. We can only ever carry two guns at a time. It's it's not that much of a hindrance outside of the fact that you're always basically required to carry a primary Tau weapon, which is not always the best weapon choice to have. Especially consider that more often than not, you're not going to be able to find you know, Tau ammo just laying around. You kind of have to find a corpse somewhere to rob. These guys are nice enough to wait around for us while we sneak up behind them. The one last uh, piece of the HUD that we'll be seeing a little bit later on, I'll cover whenever uh, we get to that bridge. For right now, though, we're, uh, we're making good headway to wherever it is we're going. We apparently were given new coordinates where Kovash might be held, or at least uh, directions to the prison area where he's currently being held. Not exactly sure at this uh, particular section of the game why the uh, the Space Marines or the Imperium of Man were even interested in, you know, Kovash in the first place. Uh, I'm sure, we'll, obviously, we'll be finding that out later on in the game. For right now, though, consider it a mystery whatever little bit of storyline this game actually has. And right now I think we're probably being uh, bombed to hell by Valkyries. We'll, we'll be seeing Valkyries in the next level. Don't, don't worry about that. For right now, just uh, mysterious explosions from the heavens and, you know, just the same screaming IG men running at us and getting headaches and then going to sleep. But yeah, what you saw right there that uh, finally killed somebody is a grenade. We, uh, the Kais can carry up to eight grenades. For right now, he can only throw them, but later on he will be getting a weapon that will allow him to shoot grenades. Grenades are actually very powerful in that they can kill pretty much any of these uh, current IG men in pretty much one shot. Take cover in the bunker. But yeah, this, this is actually coming up on the end of the level, so uh, we'll be getting a run down, our suit will power down, but hopefully you'll join me uh, next time for the next level of Fire Warrior. It's Negroth saying bye.